Should Deontay Wilder retire from boxing? Now, Coins, this is the bullshit narrative that I'm hearing right now on social media and on the internet and everywhere else after his loss against Joseph Parker, a guy who, may I add, is a former heavyweight champion of the world and only the second guy ever to beat Deontay Wilder over the course of 46 fights. And they're saying Deontay Wilder should retire. I mean, my goodness, how ruthless and bipolar. What I mean by bipolar is, you know, we have this bullshit culture in boxing, which has viciously harmed boxing and allow MMA to basically lap it at this point. And that bullshit culture entails that, you know, if a fighter loses one fight, their career and their opportunities are basically gone, right? But at the same time, boxing fans want to see guys fight the best guys. Well, if you're going to fight the best guys, it means you're really putting yourself out there to lose, right? And so if a guy loses because he challenged himself, you can't just discard him. You can't just throw him out. I'm sorry, that's just not the way it will work in reality if we want this sport to work for the fighters and the fans, right? Because again, what fighter is going to want to challenge himself if he knows he's going to lose the bag with one loss? And what fan wants to watch fighters, you know, take on tomato cans and beat up tomato cans? So you can't have your cake and eat it too. This is a bullshit mentality first and foremost, right? Second of all, you know, People are saying Wilder got exposed in this fight. I mean, did he really get exposed in this fight? Did we see anything different from Wilder that we hadn't seen or known in the past? This is the same Deontay Wilder who is not much of a boxer, but is waiting to land a counter right hand or to land a big right hand throughout the course of the fight. He's hoping it lands so he can get the win. And he's done this. He's done this throughout the 46 fights in his career against pretty much everybody and gotten the win except for Tyson Fury, who's the best heavyweight in the world, and Joseph Parker now, who is a former heavyweight champion and in the mix as one of the best heavyweights in the world. You know, So do you mean to tell me that because he lost, right, using the same exact formula to a Joseph Parker and a Tyson Fury over the course of 46 fights, that he's been exposed? How does that make sense? He did the same thing he's always done. And do you mean to tell me he should retire because he lost to two of the best heavyweights in the world? I mean, if that's the case, the rest of the division should just go ahead and retire. You know, so do I think Deontay Wilder should retire? Absolutely not. I don't think any of these dorks are in a position to tell this guy when or when he should not retire. This guy has an has had an incredibly successful career, right? He probably saw a bag, the likes of which he's never seen in Saudi Arabia. And even if he's no longer, because he's 38 years of age, right? As I indicated in my prediction for this fight, even if he's no longer the, the, the same Wilder, which to me, he looked about the same. But even if he's no longer the same guy, he's still dangerous. There are still tons of fights out there for him. And there are still tons of bags out there for him to get, right? So at the very least, man, respect respect the fighters, bro. Respect their ability to make money. Respect his ability to make you know a living and provide for his family and his daughter who has spina bifida, which was the reason he got into boxing. And don't go out there and try to retire a guy because he got you know two guys that beat him over the course of 46 fights. That's just absolutely crazy. Knuckleheads. Tell me what you think in the comment section below. You know, do you think Deontay Wilder should retire because he fought the way he's always had and has now lost to the second guy in the entirety of his career? Or should he go on and are there still fights out there that make sense for him? Tell me what you think in the comment section below. After you do so, like, join, subscribe to the channel. I would greatly appreciate it and get some merchandise. Anything you spend on this channel is going to help me continue to build Fighters Rep Promotions, the best striking show on earth. We're coming at you February 17th and March 2nd for Fighters Rep 21 and 22 out of Pompano Beach, Florida and Los Angeles, respectively. Get your tickets at fightersrep.com or join the channel and watch the event live. I look forward to hearing what you guys have to say about this, but retire after losing to Joseph Parker? Come on.